Hello all. Today we are discussing about the topic, the term comparison theorem. In this section, we continue our study of the oscillation behavior of non-trivial solution of the differential equation y double dash plus q of x y equal to zero, where q of x is a positive function. We begin with the theorem that rules out the possibility of infinitely many oscillation on closed intervals. Theorem A. Let y of x be a non-trivial solution of the differential equation y double dash plus q of x y equal to zero on a closed interval closed AB. Then y of x has at most a finite number of zeros in this interval. Proof. We assume the contrary that y of x has an infinite number of zeros in closed AB. We have to show that y of x has a finite number of zeros. So by using the contradiction method, we assume y of x has an infinite number of zeros in closed AB. Those infinite number of zeros form a sequence Xn in closed AB. Then by bolzano weierstrass theorem, Every bounded sequence in Rn has a convergent subsequence. The closed AB is a closed interval and sequence Xn is a sequence defined on this closed interval closed AB. So sequence Xn must be bounded so that it has a convergent subsequence which implies that there must exist a point X0 belonging to closed AB such that Xn not equal to X0 and Xn tends to X0 as n tends to infinity. Our function y is continuous on closed AB so that it is also continuous on X0. By the continuity of y, y of X0 equal to limit Xn tends to X0 y of Xn which is equal to 0. since y of xn equal to 0. xn is a 0 of the function y. Now y dash of x0 which is equal to limit xn tends to x0 y of xn minus y of x0 divided by xn minus x0 which is also equal to 0. We know y of xn equal to 0 and we already found y of x0 also equal to 0 y of x, x0 equal to 0 and y dash of x0 equal to 0 are the initial condition for a second order differential equation. Then we have the theorem existence and uniqueness theorem of second order differential equation which states that let us consider the second order differential equation y double dash plus p of x y dash plus q of x y equal to 0 y of x0 equal to y0 and y dash of x0 equal to y1. Let the function p of x and q of, q of x be continuous in the interval open alpha beta then there exists one and only one function y of x which is satisfying equation a on the interval alpha beta and the initial condition y of x0 equal to y0 and y dash of x0 equal to y1. By this theorem y of x must be 0. That is y of x is the trivial solution of the y double dash plus q of x y equal to 0 and this is a contradiction. Since y of x is a non-trivial solution of differential equation 1. So our assumption was wrong. Hence y of x has at the most a finite number of zeros in the interval closed AB. Now let us move on to another theorem. Theorem B. Let y of x and z of x be non-trivial solution of y double dash plus q of x y equal to 0. Equation number 1. And z double dash plus r of x z equal to 0. Equation number 2 respectively. Where Q of x and R of x 
are positive function such that q of x greater than r of x then y of x vanishes at least once between any two successive zeros of z of x proof let x1 and x2 be two successive zeros of z of x so that z of x1 equal to 0 and z of x2 also equal to 0 and z of x does not vanish on the open interval x1 x2 because x1 and x2 are two successive zeros of z of x so in between x1 and x2 there is no zero of z of x that is z of x not equal to zero for every x belonging to open interval x1 x2 now we assume y of x does not vanish on interval x1 x2 that is y of x not equal to zero for every x belonging to x1 x2 then either y of x less than zero or y of x greater than zero without the loss of generality let us assume that y of x and z of x greater than zero for all x belonging to x1 x consider the ron scheme w of yz which is equal to the determinant of y of x z of x y dash of x z dash of x which is equal to y of x z dash of x minus z of x y dash of x which is a function in x so we can write w of yz as w of x that is w of x equal to y of x z, z dash of x minus z of x y dash of x it reduces to y of x z dash of x at x1 and x2 x1 and x2 are the two zeros of z of x so the term z of x y dash of x become zero now let us consider w dash of x that is d by dx of w of x which is equal to y of x z double dash of x minus z of x y double dash of x which is equal to y into minus rz minus minus qy into z equal to q minus r into yz which is greater than zero on the interval x1 x2 because q of x always greater than r of x on closed interval x1 x2 and q minus r is greater than zero by our assumption y of x and z of x also greater than zero so the term q minus r into y z greater than zero which implies that w dash also greater than zero integrating from x1 to x2 we get integral x1 to x2 w dash of x dx since w dash greater than zero the integral is also greater than zero that is w w of x within the limit x1 x2 greater than zero w of x2 minus w of x1 greater than zero which gives w of x2 greater than w of x1 equation number b then by equation number a equation a is w of x equal to y of x into z dash of x so we put the value of x1 and x2 in it so w of x1 equal to y of x1 into z dash of x1 which is greater than 0 and w of x2 equal to y of x2 into z dash of x2 which is less than 0 let us consider the graph of z of x z of x is greater than 0 on the open interval x1 x2 
and x1 and x2 are the two zeros of z of x. So the graph would be like this. From this graph, the slope of z of x at x is equal to x1 is positive. So the z dash of x1 is greater than 0. So w of x1 greater than 0. Then the slope at x equal to x2 is negative. That is z dash of x2 is less than 0. And w of x2 is less than 0. So w of x1 greater than or equal to 0 and w of x2 is less than or equal to 0. From here we get w of x2 is less than w of x1 which is a contradiction because we already seen that w of x2 is greater than w of x1 and here w of x2 is less than w of x1. So our assumption was wrong. So our assumption that y of x does not vanish on the open interval open x1 x2 is not true. Hence y of x must vanish in the interval open x1 x2. Next theorem c. Let y p of x be a non-trivial solution of Bessel's equation on the positive x-axis. If 0 less than or equal to p less than half, then every interval of length pi contains at least one zero of y p of x. If p equal to half, then the distance between successive zeros of y p of x is exactly pi. And if p greater than half, then every interval of length pi contains at most one zero of y p of x. A Bessel differential equation is the linear second order ordinary differential equation given by x square d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx plus x square minus p square y equal to 0. Equivalently, dividing through by x square d square y by dx square plus 1 by x dy by dx plus 1 minus p square by x square y equal to 0, which is a Bessel differential equation. Let us prove the theorem. Proof. Consider the equations y double dash plus q of x y equal to 0, equation number 1, and y double dash plus k square y equal to 0, equation number 2. Suppose q of x greater than k square greater than 0, then by theorem b, Let y of x and z of x be non-trivial solution of y double dash plus q of x y equal to 0 and z double dash plus r of x z equal to 0 where q of x and r of x are positive functions such that q of x greater than r of x then y of x vanishes at least once between any successive zeros of z of x. By this theorem, any solution y of x of equation 1 must vanish between any two successive zeros of the solution y of x equal to sin k into x minus x naught of equation 2. Therefore, it vanishes in any interval of length pi by k. If we consider Bessel's equation x square y double dash plus x y, y dash plus x square minus y p square y equal to 0. In the normal form, 
u double dash plus 1 plus 1 minus 4 p square by 4 x square into u equal to 0. Equation number 1. If we consider, if we compare it with u double dash plus u equal to 0. Equation number b. From b, the coefficient of u, that is r of x equal to 1. From a, the coefficient of u, q of x equal to 1 plus 1 minus 4 p square divided by 4 x square. If q of x greater than r of x, that is 1 plus 1 minus 4 p square divided by 4 x square greater than 1, which gives 1 minus 4 p square greater than 1, which implies 1 by 4 greater than p square or p less than 1 by 2. If 0 less than or equal to p less than half, which gives q of x greater than r of x. Then by theorem b, that is, let y of x and z of x be non-trivial solution of y double dash plus q of x y equal to 0 and z double dash plus r of x z equal to 0, where q of x and r of x are positive function such that q of x greater than r of x, then y of x vanishes at least once between any two successive zeros of z of x. By this theorem, the solution of Bessel's equation yp of x vanish between successive zeros of the solution of y double dash plus u equal to 0, which gives yp of x vanish between the successive zero of u of x equal to sin x. That is, yp of x has at least one zero in the interval of length pi. Hence, the interval of length pi contains at least one zero of yp of x. If p equal to half, then q of x equal to 1 plus 1 minus 4 p square divided by 4 x square, which is equal to 1 plus 1 minus 4 into 1 by 4 divided by 4 x square, which is equal to 1. Then q of x equal to r of x equal to 1. Then our equation A becomes y double dash plus u equal to 0. Then the solution is u equal to sin x equal to yp of x. Then the distance between successive 0 of yp of x is pi since sin n pi equal to 0. Now, if p greater than half, then 1 plus 1 minus 4 p square divided by 4 x square less than 0. That is q of x less than 0. q of x less than r of x. Then every interval of length to pi contain at most 1 0 of y p of x by the theorem. If q of x less than 0 and if u of x is a non-trivial solution of u double dash plus q of x u equal to 0, then u of x has at most 1 0. Hence the theorem. Thank you.